Hi everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. I'm just jumping on to do a quick tutorial, uh, like I promised, on how to make the wreath bases I made last night uh, for the gingerbread girl and the Santa I made. Um, so I'm just going to do this quick. I'm not going to be answering any questions or anything. This is just strictly a tutorial for you guys so I can show you guys how I did it. Um, so I pre-put my zip ties in the outer hole in hole this uh, section here and then I'm going to be doing it in this section here. So to do that you just go through one hole, have your zip tie, the flat side facing towards the other hole. So when you go to put the zip ties together you have uh, it in the right way. So you're going to pre-put your zip ties in. I just find it easier to do this all at the beginning, especially if you're sitting watching a movie and doing this on your lap. It's so much easier just to pre-do your zip ties and then you just do your mesh and then you're done. Bird. Okay, a couple more. Now you can do this same technique on the large flower board. Obviously, it will take more mesh and be a little larger. Um, I do believe I have shown it on... What did I make that had this? There was one thing I, ha I made that had this. I have to look. Okay, so I've already got my hanging string in there. So I have a whole bunch of zip ties already preloaded, all ready to go. So you're going to take your roll of 10-inch mesh. Um, I, I wouldn't use 21-inch. Um, there's no need to waste your money on 21 inch when this 10 inch will be just enough and be suffice. You're going to unroll it. You can drop it on the ground if you want. And you're going to fold it over to, I'm going to be making 9 inch poofs, so just guess about 9 inches. And you're just going to scrunch it so that the tail end of that is in your scrunch there and you kind of have a poof and you could pretty much start wherever you want um, I'll just start at the bottom now you want your poof that you just made you want it facing outwards so you can just put it right down in the middle of the two holes here okay now maybe at the beginning it may get a little confusing with all the zip ties but you'll get the gist of it as you're going okay pull it tight. Now I use, like I said, I use 9 inch poofs. You can use however big you want. If you want it smaller, then you obviously would use probably about 7 inches. But I find 9 is pretty good. So I'm just going to, I have my 9 inch piece of cardboard and I, that's how I just measure my poofs. Now I'm going to go from this hole and I'm going to go down to the hole on the second row right here diagonal from it. Okay, and where I had it scrunched in is where I zip tied it onto the board. And I'll do another nine inches. And now I'm going to go back up to this one right here. The zip ties like to catch on the mesh, so you may want to not preload them. It's totally up to you. Once you get the hang of it, though, you kind of figure out how to not get the mesh caught into the zip ties. Now, you don't have to have it perfect. You can guesstimate, guesstimate 9 inches if you want. You could also use pipe cleaners. You don't have to use zip ties. And then I'm going to go back about nine inches and go back and get this one. So you're just going up and down, up and down. So you can do this on your lap. And then I'm going back down to this middle one here. So you're just crisscrossing over. I'm almost 
thinking I did I skip every other one? <laughs> no, I can't remember. I wasn't even paying attention. How did I do this? Hold on, guys. Let me flip this over. No, I got every one. I think it's this mesh is really thick. So, oh, shoot. I did do it wrong. <laughs> okay. So much for my tutorial. <laughs> I forgot. I went around the edges. Oh, gosh. It's been a long day. Okay, we're going to rewind. I've had a really long day. I had to run over to the United States. Just got back. And I know I promised everybody to do the tutorial on this. So, I think I initially started doing it that way that I just showed you and then realized I had to do all around the outside first and then come down. So, and I'm not reading comments, so probably some of you have probably commented and said, Laura, it's not going to work. And I didn't even look up. So, let's do this again. So, I just showed you not what not to do, okay? <laughs> I'm such a spaz sometimes. So, because we've been so busy, we had two trips. We're doing double trips to the States. And I did one of the trips. So everybody can get their orders fast, quick. All right, let's try this again. And now you make a poof. And I know if Mrs. Monkey's on here, she's probably like, mm-hmm. All right. Now you're going to go nine inches. You could probably even do smaller if you wanted. And just bring it up and go down this to the next. There we go. That's better. And then once you go all the way around, then you come down into this one. <laughs> now I'm just... If you want to be perfect, you, could do, you can measure your mesh poofs. I'm just going to guess from here. It's just so much faster. And if you put it side by side, you can pretty much tell that it's the right length. And that's how you do this. You go ar around the whole outside of the board. And you can use pipe cleaners if you want. You all know I hate pipe cleaners, so I very rarely use them. I love my zip ties. I'd rather pull a zip tie than twist. And then when I do ribbons, I just put the ribbons on top of the zip ties. Zip ties are like pennies each. So they're very inexpensive. So to use two zip ties, I have no problem with. So you just kind of... This one always gets stuck. I just kind of push that out of the way, come around, come down. So I'm always coming down towards the center of the board. Okay, so you pull it, pull it, bring this, see this one gets stuck, bring it back, down in between the two holes, and zip tie the, the mesh. Pull it, bring it around this one. Bring it down and zip tie the mesh. So as you can see, it's pretty simple and that's why I was doing it when I was watching a movie. I don't even think I looked down. <laughs> I just kept grabbing the zip ties and it's pretty easy. So if you want to make wreaths like this, um, you could pretty make a whole bunch of bases really fast and just throw them to the side. And that's what I did with the Santa. I had pre-made the Santa in the gingerbread girl base. And then when I was ready to decorate it, all I had to do was start cutting ribbons. These would even be good, like if you wanted to teach a kid's workshop. You could pre-make the base for them and all they would have to do is decorate the wreath. 
That would be really fun for them because this part's boring. All right, one more, one more poof. God, I hope this was a full roll. I didn't even check. <laughs> I just grabbed it out of the closet. <laughs> it didn't have plastic on it, so more than likely it wasn't even a full roll. I'm just a spaz today. So now I'm going to take the nine inches and I'm just going to come down. We're going to do this circumference right here. So right here, there's eight of them. I'm going to come down with this one, but I'm going to zip it in over here. So I hope you guys can see this. This is sliding around on me. I'm going to do it on my lap. It's much easier than doing it on the table. So you pull your 9 inch poof, scrunch it, and again, zip tie it right in. Now you could, after you cut, do your first row, you can go around and cut your zip ties. Um, I cut them all at the end. It was just easier for me. Okay, so you just keep going around. So these will have eight poofs in this section. And then this section will have another eight poofs if you want to do that section. Depends how big of a center you're going to do. And of course this wasn't a full roll. I'm such a spaz. Okay, so I'm going to end it here because that's all you have to do. Just make your poofs, squish it back, zip tie it on, and continue around. And when you get to the last one, which is over here, so this will be my last one on that row, and then after I'm done there, I'm going to go to here. Okay, and then do these all the way around. And once you're done, cut your mesh off. I might as well finish this roll. And cut your mesh off, and your tail will be hidden in the in the mesh. And that's what you that's all you have to do, and you can do that on the big board as well. And then when you're done, you can go around and snip off all your tails. And then open your poofs. So you won't see any of your board. So once this is all filled in, it's kind of squished in there. And then you can add ribbons and decorate it whenever you're ready to. Just like I did with the gingerbread and the Santa. So you just stick your fingers in, grab each surged edge of your mesh, so find the surged edges, and then just open it up, and the poof opens right up. Okay, it makes it full. And then as you're opening it up, you can see it, the board starting to fill up. And that's it. So you would continue the whole wreath, and uh, that's how I made the base for the gingerbread girl and the Santa. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, and I will try and help you out. Okay guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye!